Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey here, and I'm here with some good old fake Grand Order. And I'm here with Quetzalcoatl. Say hello, Quetz. That was a long ass hello. Anyway, where did the day is I didn't want to interrupt her. Um, she came home, I didn't want her to feel neglected. Anyway, we're here today to. Oh man, we need to. Okay, so I'm currently trying to get Quetzalcoatl to 100. We're currently having a good old extravaganza of crazy points. So of course that means um, we're gonna grind up here for a bit. So here's my, by the way, there is a way to make an extremely cheap grind team that isn't crazy whale status. As you can see here, I could actually use this on Ooh, excuse me. I could actually use um, this and then use the, that waiver friend I had with the uh, the money. Uh, um, what the hell is this called? A perfection or something? Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa craft essence. There you go. Um, I could do that. Um, that's not how I grind. This is how I grind. This is perhaps the most extra grinding team I could. You could imagine. The only thing would be crazier is that they, they, they all their noble fans have. Bam, bam, bam noble phantasms were at level five so let's go in here um because i need i'm still trying i'm gonna i'm setting up my uh fate because as you know salem is coming soon and for that we're gonna be having a very special event because i don't work very mu much i think on the second or i hope whatever next week um so hopefully i'll be able to do the entire story it's broken into chunks so hopefully that will help me out for sure um but i'm excited um, but for now, we're gonna practice. This is basically a good way for me to like kind of test how everything's working. Let me also do a quick. Oh, okay. So this is how this setup works. Basically, I need to. Quetz needs to have a brawn. Needs to have two cards in the front. That's perfect. We use this. She mucha mooches me. Love it. Thank you. She gives me Pioneer of the Stars. I go here. And then what follows next is an absolute ass beating. There we go. Alright, go. Go for it, Quetz. Boom. Oh, I love you. I need more height. Damn right, girl. I am the flame. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> oh. Ole. Oh, yo. This is the greatest impersonation of a Japanese woman pretending to be Hispanic is, uh, is amazing, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't get much better here. Uh, okay, let's see. Now for, of course, this is it. Like, literally, there's no reason for me to use any other buffs at all. All right, let's go here. Ugh. This is, I think, literally the most overkill farming thing you could have, I think. Oh, the King of Ghosts, the Stormy Knight. Damn, this no phantasm looks good though. I don't know if you know this, but Fate looks beautiful sometimes. They have some of the, I think some of my favorite gacha animations in general. So let's see here, dragons. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna put the battle speed here down because I love um, Iskandor, Iskandar's voice here. It is probably the funniest. Wait for it. I'm gonna actually put it up so you can hear it. Oh, I love the oh it's so good. Oh, it's so slow. That's the only time I'm going to be putting the slow down, by the way, because I play exclusively at 2x speed. Uh, or as I call it, regular speed. And if you want to go slow motion, you go the other way. 
Okay. Not bad. Yeah, and I need a lot of QP, by the way. And I also need a lot of um, EXP as well, but I'm less worried about that because Christmas is around, coming around the corner, and I can use all my spare EXP on her. I mean, obviously, I'm also going to be using some of that spare EXP on um, units that need it. Maybe Ishtar, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go in. So yeah, that's what, uh, it's really a lot of just waiting for Salem. Let's talk about just fate stuff in general. What's going on? Isn't it crazy, by the way? Okay. This is, if you play Fate Grand Order, and I know, if you play NA, I feel like a vast majority of us know what's going on in JP. Isn't it crazy that they only got 10 quarts? I was for sure they were actually about to pull a um, Dokkan J J uh, JP, and they were about to get like, 300 or something but no they they got less than even they didn't even get half of what na got which is which is hilarious i mean i think for the most part it's fine but i don't know how those people i would feel like oh no damn it it's all slow girl i love you in slow motion but we need to fast this up you know what i'm saying okay there we go um, super fascinating just because like I feel like there's a certain subset of people who are clearly like, oh, and it complains too much. But now they've really hit uh, a weird corner where now they can't complain about the fact that they got way less for us for a longer maintenance, by the way. I'm on the side that JP deserves more quartz, man. I don't even play that version and I think they deserve more. Like, are you crazy? 10? And then people are saying like, oh, it's Apple's fault. That'd be great if it wasn't for the fact that every other gotcha in the planet, when even when it was Apple's fault, they said, our bad, let us comp you. Like, I don't think you understand how much a compensation, like, is just like easy free publicity. It's just like a good way to make your players feel good about the fact that they didn't get to play for a day. Because here's the thing. When you don't play a gotcha for 24 hours... Most of the time it breaks the spell on you if you play it if you don't play it long enough It breaks the spell and you kind of go like huh. I actually kind of liked my time not playing it for a bit and it's like You never want to feel that I feel I think if you're like a gotcha Like if I was making a gotcha and they left me for over an hour I would make them feel like I appreciated them coming back and I'm sorry that Apple screwed us over here I know Apple did you wrong, but let me remind you that I care about you. Here's some stuff, and to give just 10 quarts and 10 apples, let me tell you right now, JP had better have, like, a crazy plan to give them more quarts later, and they're uncomfortable with giving them more quarts now. I don't get it. I, it is boggling to me. And it's also hilarious to see all the people who are like, oh, look, JP, so uh, calm during this entire situation, unlike NA. And now they're in a situation where, like, yeah, I would be kind of pissed um, to learn that I got less compensation than the than the the, the the side that is in theory treated less nice. Uh, and by the way, I think NA is treated perfectly fine. It's just that sometimes, you know, people make mistakes, and game devs are the same way. You can tell them in a respectful manner, like, "Hey, I believe this was a screw up, and I would like you to improve. If you want to keep me around your game, that's the way it goes." This is not a two way street of like. You can fuck around with me any way you want, and then, by the way, it's fine because I love you, baby. That's not how this relationship works. This relationship works by both sides understanding that they have... I mean, they have a certain note. Like, if you're a player, don't like how a game's going, and the devs are going, like, I'm not changing. Then it's time for you to say, I'm taking my money elsewhere. I don't need this game anymore. Goodbye. And we cross... We go into the crossroads, and we're done. So... Man... This kind of stuff is really and shout out unfortunate to all the mods on the Fate subreddit that are like just completely they have to deal with what especially with Abby coming out by the way and we don't know what Abby's gonna look like but God help them if they in any way covered up her later forms and if you play um, Fate you know what I'm talking about and here's the crazy thing here's the crazy thing I think people universally agree that the first and second ascensions for Abby are her best forms. And for the people, the like, there's so little people who are like actually pro her final like form that it doesn't make any sense to me that people would be like, oh, I can't believe they cloved her up more. Cause it's like, what's dog? Are you crazy? 
I would love it if they actually put in... Here's the thing I think they should do, by the way. Because um, there is a good way to compromise this and everyone gets what they want. Um, the creepo, the creepos, who like their girls with no pants, can have a ja the Jack's just regular ascension as that. And then for everyone else out there who likes Jack as a character and doesn't like staring at her lowly ass every time she shows up, here is a spirit... Um, outfit that literally gives her some decent clothes and everyone wins like everyone gets what they want especially because if you just say, if you don't say if you just outright censor something then um people get complained because i i think in general censorship should be and especially in these kind of games like censorship should be this kind of thing where if you look at it like for example with the emia stuff i understood where they were coming from but I still feel they should have shown Emiya Alter the way he was intended to be looked at because that is a reflection of what that person sees that kind of people as. And to kind of hide it as that's not what they saw him as, it's kind of like you're trying to just sweep under the <laughs> sweep under the rugs the part of them you don't like, which I don't think is the right move, by the way. So, but if they had offered like an alternate like like um spirit would have figured what it's called it's like a spirit trust or something then the entire situation would the situation would be prevented because the people who actually want him in his other form would get to keep him the way he is and then the people who want the other form or uh or also uh, the they can keep him in his base form if they either like his base form or they don't like the alternate dress or something you know there's obvious ways around stuff where I feel like there's a calm compromise that we can all reach that everyone's happy. Just people don't want to ever reach for it, you know what I mean? And with that said, that's the end of this video. <laughs> so, uh, again, tell me what you think, by the way. If you, if I'm, I'm, I'm always open to hear what other people think, especially with like, here's the crazy thing. The greatest things to talk about fate come from talking discussing the story discussing a character discussing situations that are out of our control for the games like the game dev's decisions the actual game itself not much i can tell you besides the fact that i think quetzalcoatl is oh hello no you shall not tempt me drake here she is yeah yeah also justice for quetz and jp they should have never skipped her event all right everyone that's it if you like this video leave a like if you like me you should subscribe to me i do fate and other gotchas and other videos in general so with that that says goodbye i'd say i don't remember any other languages goodbye